What is up guys, here with Jack Igo, who came top eight, um, and you saw it in the stream, unfortunately, it ended a little too early, um, but yeah, so I just thought I'd get you uh, the, his um, Necro's deck profile, because he's a very well-known player in the UK scene, and uh, yeah, just in general, a good player, so do you want to introduce yourself? Alright, I'm Jack, and today I play Necro's, made top eight, unfortunately I lost to Shadows in top eight, but... Cool. Stake as a guard. <laughs> right, we're going um, to the deck profile now. Um, it's very similar to the build that ran YCS Bokken, but like, um, there's a few differences. I played, obviously, three Unicorn, yep. the main one. Um, two Valk, um, three can clog, like, I keep going between two and three, but yep. settled at two for this event. Two Necros Von Trishula. Um, Von Trishula. I, th I think two is really good, like, being able to drop a second one, like, if something happens to your first, or being able to protect your first one from being yeah. just, like, really strong. Two Rhinoch, um, and two Klausless. Um, some people only run one, but I find, like, the certain players you can only do if you have two of them. Like, searching it with Shrit when you've already got monsters on board after yep. using your verse. Fair enough. Right, um, three Manju and three Senju, because searches, level fours, best cards. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, two Maxi and two Vela. Um, Platinum Vela's, what are you doing? Best Vela's. Right, um, so I didn't really want to main three of either of these because they both have their own applications and yeah. good in certain situations. Uh, two Shrit, yeah. standard. One Dijin, standard. standard. Uh, one Dance, Dance Princess. Princess. People are playing Secret Village of the Spellcasters, so yeah. it's really good out as well. Um, I played Exiled Force. A lot uh, of people are playing DD Warrior Lady at the moment, but like. So because of that, when they did unlock, they're adding Valkyrus instead of Trishula. So yep. like, this gets around it. Oh, really nice. Strong. Um, free Book of Eclipse, because I That's like so to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. don't like losing to the Digi unlock. <laughs> uh, two of each Necros Mitchell spell, yep. standard. Makes sense. Two row, uh, I wanted to run a third, but it was just like room. Um, two, you can search most of the things in other ways anyways. So yep. it's alright. One preparation I write, just because I can't play three of them. Yeah. Um, Raigeki, I think it's really good. Alistair Jane Lock, good against Rogue. Uh, one Vanity's Emptiness, because if you resolve it in the mirror, you're probably going to win. Yep, fair enough. So if we just do the uh, side, or the, the extra deck very quickly, um, even though it's and not that relevant. Today, one Lulabal Chain, two Emerald, recycle each other. Yeah. One Cowboy, one Giant Hand, shout out to Ruben for lending me it. Yeah. Exoton, Dweller, uh, Ark, Ken Gorgon. This is really good, by the way, people should run this. Stop Sveal. Definitely, yeah. Diamond Dyer, Castell, then two Herald, and a level 12. Yep, that makes sense. And then the uh, side, which side. is more relevant. Three <laughs> uh, MST, obviously, outlets to all floodgates if you draw it. Yep. <laughs> two Denko, Sekka. Um, at three, I found like if you drew multiple, it was pretty bad, and I'm also playing three decrees, so I didn't want to go overkill. Yeah. Two shared ride. Um, if you're going first in the mirror, it's really strong. Stops them from like killing you there and then. Yeah. Uh, two mind crush. Same again. If you're going first in the mirror, you can disrupt the players massively. Uh, two breakthrough skill. Uh, really good against Satellanite, and it's also pretty good against Shadow. Like I went in Shadow, and he had Thunder King on board. He saw a map magician, used this in his turn, used it to get Thunder King, and won because yeah. of it. Um, free Royal Decree, um, again, all of the floodgates, and you run if you run very few traps, so it doesn't really affect you. And one torrential in case I got on stream again. <laughs> we didn't see the stream, if you didn't know what that was, basically in the uh, previous Brotherhood, or, or it was the regional I think it was, um, the guy playing against, Jack was playing against Satel Knight, he had four monsters on board, he summoned an extra monster for some reason, and uh, Jack TT'd him. Yeah. Get right. He's also actually pretty good against shit all as well. Yeah, so. exactly. So, um, <laughs> Out of, uh, out of all uh, the kind of like matchups today, which was your toughest and which was your easiest? Um, generally, it just have to be the mirror match as far as hardest one goes because like obviously you get the gym locked like yeah, just it, like it that. just count if you draw it out pretty yeah. much. There's not much going around it, and <laughs> obviously there's a lot of skillful, intensive playing grind game. And as far as easiest, um, I had one Infernoid and two of him, so uh, okay, sorry, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was that Carl? Oh, okay. I'll be getting his profile soon as yeah. well. Um, anything you'd change in the deck? Um, no, not really. I thought it worked out pretty well. Maybe like Cider, DD, Warrior Lady. That <laughs> would be feeling own. strong for the next core set coming out with the deck? Yep, just going Shadow Necros then. You're going Shadow's Necro then? Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Alright, well thank you very much for the deck profile. Well All done right, again. Thank you. Cheers. Um, and uh, this is Olympio signing out.